That belongs in a museum. Holding on to it and holding on to the brawl are two of the key win conditions in this matchup against Murloc Paladin. So, yeah. Take his time. <laughs> what? Did, am I missing something? <laughs> oh, he wanted to make the Solemn Vigil more expensive. Kanto's so smart. Yeah. I don't know if it matters that much. <laughs> He misses three damage to make it cost one more mana. Like, he's still going to be able to play it for cheaper next turn. Is the difference between two mana and three mana really that big? But I guess Kalento thinks that it is. It's a it's a cheeky play. Kind of neat. A little bit of creativity coming out. That's so smart. That's just smart. Like, as soon as I saw yeah. it happen, I was like, that's literally what he was thinking about. I, I wouldn't have thought about that. Number of attacks. Uh, hot making some headway now, actually. That's the second hero power in a row. And there's been no progress from Kalento's side. So this yeah. damage is going to continue to add up now. Kalento needs to find something to take care of this. Gold Monkey is unplayable right now. There's no way that card's coming down. Yeah. So this is actually a, an awkward spot for Kalento. Don't want to use the Brawl. Don't want to use the Belcher. You, ta you talked about that play earlier. Just execute. He, he He's taking more damage than he's blocking every single turn. I think Hot's going to be reluctant to draw for the rest of this game as well. He just, I think he's content with just biding his time this way. Yeah. I wonder if Kalento actually can just keep this board state right here and fatigue Hot. Like, does he have the life total to potentially do that? He cast. I still would have liked to see this a lot earlier. This would have prevented a lot of damage coming through, and he's forced to make the same play anyway. Yeah. And he he basically just took like ten extra damage. In that exchange, yeah, this might uh, be because possible of, because of the change of game plans. Which, yeah, he's right on that fifty life threshold, so he he might even have to get a little bit, I dare say it, lucky with the rolls from from Hots. Uh, anything can happen. His second anything can happen in order to win this game, because uh, how, how you do it is, like I said, Sludge Belcher absorbs two attacks. So if second anything can happen, summons four war leaders. And that's only three chargers. So, like, the maximum amount of damage you can do is whatever the maximum amount of damage from one Merc I would be for the second anything, which is not very much. If you get six chargers, on the other hand, it's possible. Uh, but there I think go. Hot's got to go for it now. This is it. So, this first anything can happen is going to deal 22 damage, which is going to take off most of the armor from Kalento. But the next one is going to be the important one. And what Kalento does not want to see here is the Murkai come out of this brawl. If Murkai comes out of this brawl, it's it's kind of a disaster because he can't kill with the fire war accident. Oh Murkai. no! That oh, is no. That is bad news. So now uh, Hot can get as 16 damage from the blue or 12 damage from the blue gills. I still don't think it's enough. I think Kalento might have just gotten over the threshold. We're going to find out. I mean, this is... If he equalities right now and runs in the Murkai and then makes a token, he can run... I guess he does nothing with the tokens. The token doesn't matter here. But he gets past the first half of the Sludge Belcher here. I I, with I honestly think that this is exactly the same. He just re he, he reduces the chance that he has two Murkais next turn. But he gets one more attack. So, yeah, this is better. But he, he still can get screwed over next turn. The thing is, Kalento still can't play Monkey. You, you might think, well, you want to play Monkey because it gets a taunt. But no, you, you can't play Monkey because then you get rid of Brawl. You need something to get rid of the second wave of Murlocs. If you survive the second wave of Murlocs, it doesn't matter if you don't have a way to just remove them. Oh, so it all go. comes down to this. 35 health Kalento has. He can get through if he gets enough chargers. He doesn't want to see too many war leaders. <gasps> Not two merc eyes. That's 30 damage. He, he. Oh my goodness. This is not enough. He needed not two merc eyes. He would have oh. had. If he had kept it last turn. If he had not killed the Belcher last turn. 
and he had played anything and got this exact board with one less war leader, he would have had 36 damage. Well, hang on, the game's not quite done just yet, so Brawl's gonna happen. Uh, the Gold Monkey, I think, is gonna wrap this up. Uh, this game is, yeah, this game is, uh, I, I'm pretty sure, over. Oh, Big Game Hunter even wins. Yeah. Yeah, but no charges left for Hot. He has no way to deal damage. Kalento, yeah, he's gonna scoop it up. Wow. So well played from Kalento.